Good evening, welcome back. It is Tuesday, June the 23rd of 2020. So this is a viewer request video. One of my, uh, one of my subs, he's one of my like, OG subs from the original channel, shot me a text and said, uh, he asked me, there any preps that I can think of um, to survive this revolution that we're basically, I, I would say, in the infancy of. And, uh, well, Don, here you go. But I don't think the answer is going to be what you expected. I don't need to privatize the video for OPSEC or anything like that. Um... So you sent me this text, what was it? I think it was Saturday. Saturday or Sunday? No, it was Sunday. So when I was out getting uh, some repair parts or maintenance parts for my generator. You got me thinking all of Sunday, right? As I'm sitting there turning the wrench on the generator to change the oil, swap the battery, and all that. And I'm racking my brains. And, uh... Sunday, I went to get the Sparkies for it, racking my brains and racking my brains. I'm like, well, what the hell could you possibly need to survive a revolution that wouldn't get you through any other disaster, just maybe on a larger scale or, you know, larger quantity? Because, you know, beans, bullets, band-aids, right? Obviously, the snivel gear that you're going to need great, now it's going to rain. So you got a bunch of kids who think it's cool to topple statues, burn businesses, vandalize homes, etc. What do you need to get you through that that you don't already have? Some of us may already have it, and we don't even realize it. Community. Your community is going to be key to surviving this coming revolution, or this burgeoning revolution. Because if you live in a place where your belief set is in the minority and you're surrounded by your enemies, whether they be the, um, the kind that give quiet support or actively engaged in supporting your enemies. They're going to find out who you are. And it won't take much. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody will let something slip in conversation. Or they'll just figure it out when they don't see you at their little group meetings. And then all the preps in the world, physical or mental, aren't going to do squat for you. So you have to remember I think this is still a game to a lot of these younger kids that are out there doing this, right? Because they haven't met with any real forcible resistance. Yeah, you've seen a couple of rounds of Antifa versus Proud Boys. But at the same time, you've got two groups of kids in the schoolyard fighting. 
what's been going on, the burning, the looting, the arson, the looting, the rioting, the vandalism, the destruction of private property. They haven't met any real resistance to that yet. And I think to them it's still just a game. And it hasn't gotten real. <coughs> so if you're one of those constitutional patriots that believes in our country, thinks it might have gone a little astray, but for the most part believes in our country, our founding documents, If you live in an area where you're surrounded by these people, I think you could very quickly become a victim of them and their game, not realizing that what they're doing has actual consequences, right? Because I, I in my mind, I don't think these dummies that are out on the streets doing what they're doing realize that at some point the, pardon my French, the long, hard dick of authority is going to come along and slap them in the face. Whether it's the cops that say, enough, the National Guard that says, enough, United States military that says enough or a group of civilians who have had enough of these kids and their bullshit and say enough like when you come to burn my business or hey, we're going out into the suburbs, and now you think you're going to burn my house. Because, well, there's an American flag hanging from the front of it. Guess what? If there's more of them than there are you, they're probably going to burn your house because there's no consequence to doing it. Yeah, sure, you might get a few shots off, but 20 to 1, 20 to 2. The greatest, uh, the greatest preparation that I think you could have for what's blossoming and what I think is coming is who you surround yourself with. So if you surround yourself with a bunch of mealy mouth liberal anti super uh, sympathizers, it doesn't matter how many guns you have, it doesn't matter how much ammo and how long you can eat for off your food stash. When they realize who you are, you're just another victim. Now flip that script surrounded yourself with like-minded people. You have a good community. And the people that you surround yourself with want nothing to do with these little punks. When 20 or 30 of them, 100 of them, whatever, show up in the streets of your community looking to burn it to the ground then what do you think happens so I hope that answered your question Don and I'll sum it up in short for anybody that fast forwarded to get their refund, the greatest prep you can have for this burgeoning revolution is people. Or, yeah, the greatest prep you can have is also your greatest enemy, people. 
The right people are the greatest prep you'll ever have. The wrong ones will bring it all crashing down. There you go. Under 15 minutes. I'm going to see if I can sign off before 10 and a half. If you like it, hit the like button. Share, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Be safe. Watch your six. Out for now.